I am very excited to see this next group of posters. So let's just do a quick wrap up on today. Um, just as a reminder, today we learned about the wellness toolkit that's available for you to use, the wellness survey, and learned a little bit more about Qualtrics and how we can build really nicely interactive Qualtrics tools at, with the report. And we also learned about some free tools that we can use for dietary um, quality, looking at assessing dietary quality as well as food choices. And then looking at perceptions and, of, and behaviors that our students may have about their environment at college. During the breakout sessions, you might have had the opportunity to learn more about food security and uh, about student advocacy, some stress, mental health, and uh, some health assessments in non-college campus. And just as a teaser, in case it's already been made or if it has not, that is the next stage that you will see coming out of this, this multi-state research group is that we'll, we are working on developing our tools that you're seeing here today, but for um, young adults living in non-college campus communities. So they would be tools that would be appropriate to use um, in a variety of community settings. So just stay tuned for quite a while, but stay tuned and you will be seeing those presented in um, hopefully a year or so. So, or two years probably. And um, then you also may have learned a little bit more about how you could develop some programs in your classes if you're professors or if you're going to be professors for those of you who are students and going into academia. And you might want to think about incorporating a longitudinal assessment that your surveys that your students can get um, real life uh, experience gaining data and analyzing data. We then talked about the uh, college health programs and an activity survey with those uh, their technically 41 points from our um, partners at PHA as well as the priority survey and the readiness survey. So lots of tools that you might want to think about incorporating at your university. As a reminder, tomorrow, you're going to learn all about how we can share back the information that's being collected. So uh, Dr. Olfert will be sharing with you all about the EB forecast and will be showing you some amazing um, outputs that can be generated from this data that, that can be collected and that you could use um, on your campuses to um, communicate with a variety of audiences. We'll have um, more on some tools, green eating, sustainable agricultural systems, and gardening, as well as some more breakout sessions. And we'll do, we'll hear about some other tools on money expenditures, financial wellness, uh, the short um, sleep survey, a short IPAC, and nutrition literacy. And then the grand finale would be the awards presentations tomorrow afternoon. So please uh, come back for that, uh, definitely. Also, um, tomorrow you will receive a link that you can use to review poster re recordings of any posters you may have missed. And it will also have that link to the survey to where you can vote um, for our first place, second place, and third place poster winners. So please, please help support all of the wonderful work that so many of our students have been doing. And, um, and as speaking of students, I just wanna encourage you again, because we need to plan now for next year to think about what data you can collect at your university. So whether you're administrative, faculty, staff, support, students, you could be collecting data over this next year and plan on presenting it back at the conference. Um, it will be a, an exciting uh, kind of second half to what we're doing right now. So think about that, get that started. We know that everything comes fast. So if we think now about next fall, we might be okay to get it all done in time, right? Um, and don't forget the, the tools that are available to you on the nutrition website. Um, that is uh, available for anyone to use. So share this information with others. Let them know about these um, potential tools. If you wait just a little bit, not too long, we're going to have all of these recordings available online too. So somebody could basically go back through and watch these. Uh, presentations as they decide which tools and what plans to do for the next year. These recordings could also be used in a class if you're planning on using some of these tools with students. So that would be another option or in student organizations for training. So think about all the different ways that the presentations we've had today and the recordings that will be available to you as well as the PDFs and the links um, that they would be 
uh, great resources to share with lots of your friends and colleagues, and that would be fantastic. So the next thing we will be doing is going into our poster sessions for today. To do that, after this ends, you're going to be back into the main room. You will see again on the left side of the screen your floors, and we use the first three floors as you remember. So the number three would be where you um, go to. So click on the third floor or the number three to take you to that post to the poster sessions. There you can click on the rooms. You can hover over and see as if you haven't already. Some people may have just joined just now. Um, you can see who's in the rooms and who's talking. You'll see the little green um, circles radiating out as people are talking and sharing. You at, will be able to see those posters and to talk to the people who are presenting the posters in those rooms. So the rooms will stay open as long as you want to. I encourage you to um, make connections. Maybe take this few minutes to start talking to some people from other institutions about doing your own collaborations and um, collecting and maybe if you combine the data then you can have even more interesting uh, results that you would want to share back. So please let me know if you have any questions or if there's anything I can help with. Otherwise, I will be letting us all go and letting you find your way to the um, poster sessions on the third floor. So please enjoy and I hope to see you again tomorrow. <laughs>